I've mentioned a few times that I got a bunch of cast iron. Uh, figured I'd show off a little bit of it. These are the extras out here. I uh, put that uh, shelf on top of these cabinets and uh, I needed to make sure that the shelf stayed down so that the glue would uh, uh, would set up with it flat so I just stacked all my extra cast iron out here because it was actually it was too heavy for where I did have it stacked so this worked out um, um, I just haven't I just haven't pulled it back down to uh, um, to put it any place else because it's out of the way right now got really hard water here so I go through coffee makers pretty regular but the carafes are still good so I hold them I save them back got little jars and things that show up um, by a buy a box with some cast iron in it and uh, there's usually something else in it too so you end up bringing it bringing it home these are uh, I'll get a closer look this is a uh, uh, it's full of dirt but it's a uh, um, this one here is a no name number two it's a basically it's a stew pot but I was I was actually looking for that uh, this other one here this is basically like it's a cast iron it's like a Dutch oven it's the same shape as a Dutch oven but it's a uh, um, um, but it's actually it's a, a roaster pot for uh, for making stews and things. Got cast iron lids. This one's for a frying pan. So you end up having to mix match see which one where. That's one's that one's for a frying pan too. You can usually tell because they got the. They got the tabs on the outside that covers up the um, uh, the pour slots. But this is a uh, they've got these uh, tabs on the inside of the lid that uh, uh, when the steam collects um, and condenses, it'll it'll collect on these tabs and then drip straight down onto your food instead of. Um, instead of running to the side and then running to the outside of the pot. Um, it's a pretty pretty cool little little thing that they thought up. They thought it up because they had to. The other the other lids I have for the cast iron are glass. Um, I don't know if you can I don't know if you can even get a a glass frying pan lid. That one fits top of that one real nice. So inside the stacks you got got little ones. This one's a number three. Number three something. It just says made in the USA. Um like I said, these are all the extras. The um the smaller ones are uh There's no markings on that one, but it's a good solid pan. So I got little, little bitty small ones. That one's, uh, that one's about, that one's about six inches across at the top. So that would probably make it a number four. So, and over here, over here, you got some other smaller ones. Smaller ones are usually are usually what people want, so that they can uh, usually what they want. This one's a Griswold. It's a it's a pretty good collectible. Uh, that's a breakfast food. Um, that's a breakfast food um, frying pan. 
I'll put it upside, right side up. It's got the X with the Griswold in the middle. It's a number 107 cast iron skillet griddle. But that would work. That would work really good on, on a fire to uh, um, yeah. It's got a metal, metal handle so that you so that you don't end up uh, um, burning off your parts. Get the chair. These are the two. These are the two that I just got. Yesterday. This is a Griswold. This is get Griswold number 12. I ended up with two Griswold number 12s. That means it's from that ring on, on the bottom of the pan. It's 12 inches across the bottom. And that makes uh, the top from pour spot pour spout to pour spout, um, that makes it um, 15 inches. That's a big frying pan. That's not something that you're gonna you're gonna put in a backpack and take with you, but um, it's real nice to have around if you've got um, multiple pounds of chicken or fish that you that you need to fry. But um, Got another glass lid. That one's Wagner Ware, so it's a that's a genuine cast iron um, Griswold Wagner. Wagner turned into Wagner Ware, um, but Wagner Ware is still from uh, the 40s and 50s, so uh, that's still. That's still an old, old piece of cooking uh, cookware. All right, so that's uh, then. Then you end up with uh, every once in a while, I end up with uh, extra uh, pressure cookers. It's just stuff that shows up. That's the extra storage. Here's the here's the stuff that I really use. It's kind of dark in spots. We uh, this this right here is probably the most used piece that I have. It's a flat griddle, no sides, made by Griswold. It's absolute. It's almost perfect for uh, um, for cooking. Um, Anything that needs to be fried, like um, like a uh, a burger, or anything else. I've got two or three of those. Use them quite a bit. At one time, these were these were all arranged. Uh, we cut a door in here, but the but these uh, you can tell by up there where the outlines of the pans were at. They we, uh, one time these were all lined up uh, with Griswolds and Wagners, starting at the smallest and going all the way back up to the to the biggest. They were all lined up by number. One, two, three, four, five, all the way up. Some of these are specialty stuff. Um, this one's never been used, but uh, um, once people figure out that you collect cast iron, it it's like you're a magnet for cast iron. You, it just shows up. A lot of times stuff just shows up on my doorstep and it's like okay I'll be I'll be your cast iron uh, uh, you know salvage salvage person all right this ring here is this one's a genuine Wagner um, this is for a waffle maker and what you would do is you'd stick this you would stick this on a uh, wood burning stove, and your waffle maker looks like this. This one, this one is a Montgomery Ward's, made in 1925, and it's an exact duplicate of the Wagner that's sitting up, 
sitting up, up at the top. The, all of these parts, all of the parts, everything inter interchange with with the other one. Um, I got this one at a at a yard sale sale for twenty five but or twenty five cents, less than, less than a dollar. Pocket change, and it sits. Waffle maker sits in the cradle. The thing sits on sits over your heat source. And then you heat it up, and then when it's time for you to flip it over, you just roll it up, it pivots on the socket, and you set it back down. And you can open up, open up and do your uh, your waffle thing in there. Pretty neat, pretty neat little piece of kit. It really was. They're both marked the same thing. 1925, uh, Ward's cast iron in the center with Montgomery Ward right behind it. Um, yeah, there's different things. Here's a griddle here that uh, will fit over the top of two burners. Uh, this will cover an entire uh, Coleman style two burner propane camp stove. Pretty slick piece of kit. Um, I got duplicates smaller versions, larger versions, got tiny versions. One of these days I'll make a make a video about how to uh, clean a video or clean a cast iron pan down to bare metal and then uh, um, put it back put it back up to being seasoned. There's a, there's a lot of people a lot of people showing how to season cast iron pans but um, um, not many people show how to actually clean them the right way. I keep I keep seeing people say, "Oh, just throw them in the fire. Fire will clean anything." And it's like, yeah, fire, fire with cast iron is a really good way to have a destroyed pan. If you take this is another number twelve, like the two that I just bought. I got to zoom out to get it out to get it all in. Um, you can tell when it's a good cast iron pan when you, when you click on it and it sounds like a bell um, if it's cracked it'll it'll sound like you're just bumping bumping something hard against something hard a good cast iron pan will ring on you so um, that's just um, just a quick tour. I don't know what else to say, but cast iron is cast iron's your lifelong friend. Once you get it, it'll never let you down, unless unless you unless you do something to to really try to hurt it. All right. Watch what what angle to leave this at. And that one's for so I can show the back side of this one. This one's a textured this one's textured um, like the inside of a corn like a corn cob. Ear of corn. It's for making uh, making corn bread and um, that's just just one of the one of the things that I ended up with. Alright, call this one short. See ya.